All right, <clears throat> so I'm gonna make a shorter video than that last one. Last one was 10 minutes. All right, ignore. Uh, let me call this a B. Call that a B right there. Ignore that one for a second. I'm just gonna show you uh, what we're doing with these. All right, we're going to uh, complete the square, but I'm not gonna explain very much on this video because I did that on the other. It's out there if you wanna watch it. Uh, but it took, I don't think many of you are going to. Uh, so we're going to add some number here so that something fancy happens. All right, so the 8 is like our B. The 8 is like our B. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this B over 2 squared. So if 8 is my B, then this is going to be like 8 over 2 squared. So it's half of 8 and then squared. Uh, half of 8 is 4. 4 to the second power is 16. All right, let me do uh, this one here. Uh, half of the negative 6 and then square that. So half of negative 6 is negative 3, but when you square that, it's going to be positive. So that's why this number over here, it's always going to be addition. Because when you square it, it makes it positive. Uh, this is 9. All right. <clears throat> now, the reason that this is special is because of the way that it factors. These are called perfect square trinomials. Uh, when you go to factor this, actually, I'll write it out on here. When you go to factor it, you need to find two numbers that multiply to 16 and will add up to 8. That is 4 and 4. They multiply to 16 and they add up to 8. So you get plus signs in the middle, but you have a repeat factor. And because you have a double factor, you can write it as a binomial to the second power squared. And that's what's nice about these. All right, you're doing something almost illegal uh, to get a perfect square trinomial and in the next video I'm gonna go over how to get around that and you know why it's actually legal uh, for this one uh, we need two numbers that multiply to 9 and add up to 6 uh, let's see here it's gonna be minus and minus yeah it's X minus X minus they multiply to 9 but add up to be 6. Well, that's 3 and 3. So multiply this out, and you're going to get the original here. All right. Now, the, the trick or the thing you need to be looking for is a pattern. So why is it 4? Why is it 3? And what do you notice about its relation to the, uh, the originals over here? Well, uh, Basically, this B is your 6, and if you cut that in half like they're doing here, so the 6 cut in half is the 3. The 8 cut in half is the 4. Uh, the 10 cut in half is going to be the 5. All right, we haven't even added the piece here, but I know that that's going to be the answer over here. All right, to get my missing piece, remember we're going to uh, cut it in half and then square it. So half of 10 is 5, and then 5 squared is 25. And go ahead and check it out. When you multiply this out, you're going to get this original. All right, this one, these are going to involve decimals. So uh, half of 5 is going to be 2.5, but then you're going to square it. So you get 6.25. And when you factor it, it's going to be x plus something squared. And remember, the, the key is that it's just going to be half of this number. So you could put 5 over 2, or you could put 2.5. Probably 2.5 would have been better. Uh, let's see here. I can already tell. I already know it's going to be 3.5 here whenever I go to factor it. And we need to do the, the half of this one squared. That's going to be the only part y'all have to do. So 
Uh, half of that is 3.5. Ignore the negative if you want. And that's 12.25. This is going to be the only part you guys have to do, is the, that completing the square part. That, that, makes, that makes these a perfect square trinomial. Uh, half of 13 is 6.5. And when you square that, you're going to get 42.25. All right, you can square numbers like this in your head. It's there's a little there's a trick for it. All right, and then it's going to be six point five. All right, so this right here is not what you're going to be doing, but you are going to be doing this part on the left. All righty.